Jesus is God's Son. He healed people, He helped people, and He taught people about God. Jesus' most important mission was to save the whole world from sin. Sin is all the wrong things we do that separate us from God. Jesus was betrayed by one of his followers, and then he was arrested by religious leaders. They took Jesus to Pilate, who was a Roman leader who made rules. The religious leaders accused Jesus of doing wrong things, but Jesus knew this was all part of God's plan, so he didn't argue back. The religious leaders got the crowd to shout, Crucify him! Crucify means kill. So Pilate handed Jesus over to be killed on a cross. The soldiers made him wear a purple robe and a crown of thorns as a way to make fun of him. Then they led Jesus to a hill and they hung him on a cross. They put a sign above his head that said, This is Jesus, the King of the Jews. This was meant to be mean. At noon, which is the middle of the day, everything got dark. Then at three o'clock, Jesus cried out, My God, my God, why have you deserted me? After he cried out again, he died. And when he did, a curtain in the temple tore from top to bottom, and there was a huge earthquake. Then dead people came to life. When the Roman soldiers saw everything, even they couldn't deny that Jesus was God's son. One of Jesus' followers put Jesus' body in a tomb. Then a big rock was rolled in front of the tomb. Jesus was dead in the tomb for three days. Then two women, who were both followers of Jesus, went to visit his tomb early in the morning. Another earthquake happened. Then an angel rolled away the big rock. The angel told the women not to be afraid and that Jesus had risen from the dead just like he said he would. Then he told them to look, and they saw for themselves. They were scared, but happy, and had to hurry to tell Jesus' disciples what had happened. But as they hurried, they found Jesus alive. Greetings, he said. And they ran to him and worshipped him. He had risen from the dead. He died for the sins of the whole world, which felt sad for three days. But it's amazing news for all of us. When he rose from the dead, he proved that he is king and he has power over death. We can celebrate and worship him because Jesus is risen.